is rounding off his Isle of Wight presentation with his usual clear set of instructions. But it is absolutely true that the social distancing measures are the, are the thing that is doing the, 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 having the big impact. And so the, hence the, you know, the message remains, stay at home to protect the NHS and save lives, unless you're in the Isle of Wight. But in your, even in the Isle of Wight, you should still stay at home to protect the NHS and save lives. It's that you should also install the app because that will help it, this to be uh, yet more effective. So snappy. He's had another problem with the over 70s, hasn't he? Because they're not quite sure whether they should stay at home forever or come out again or stay there for three months or, or never work again. It wasn't entirely clear that message either, was it? No, I, I, didn't he say, uh, I never said, 70s, over 70s should stay at home, and then posted his initial advice, which said over 70s should all stay at home, <laughs> irrespective of underlying health conditions. Look, let's be honest, the, the major headache that the Prime Minister's going to have is keeping his dad away from the pub. That is going to be the main thing. Uh, keep him away from a broadcasting studio, that'd do. <laughs> <laughs> Complete lockdown on Johnson's. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds draconian, it sounds like it's a liberty issue, but it isn't. It's for all of our good. It, it sounds a bit dirty, to be honest, Ian. <laughs> a bit risque. <laughs> Matt Hancock now seems increasingly irritable. Did you see how he responded to Labour MP Dr Rosina Allen Khan, who is also a frontline NHS doctor, criticising the government's testing strategy? Does the Secretary of State acknowledge that many frontline workers feel that the government's lack of testing has cost lives and is responsible for many families being unnecessarily torn apart in grief. Secretary of uh, No, I don't, Mr Speaker. I, think that the, I welcome the Honourable Lady to her post as part of the Shadow Health Team. Uh, I think she might uh, do well to take a leaf out of the Shadow Secretary of State's book in terms of tone. Um, I'm afraid what she said is not true. He got very testy. <laughs> and it's also incredibly patronising to her as well, you know, from a, it sounded very, very um, sexist, particularly on the day when, when the death count was, was, was horrible. The figures were absolutely terrible. So I think a bit of humility wouldn't go amiss from, from Matt Hancock right now. It was very headmasterly, wasn't it? It was all, look, we don't like your tone and you'd be much better if you adopted the tone of Jenkins here. Now, he's a good, he's a good lad. We like him. Uh, can, you, can you behave like him? Uh, it was yeah. just really dismal. <laughs> Another member of the government, Grant Shapps, actually said that um, it was true um, that had they tested earlier, um, it would have been much better. So it's no good saying, I don't like your tone, it's not true, when your colleague says, mm, yeah, all right, it might be true. But, um, I don't know, a bit of humility all round, probably. 